you need to work a lot harder for a lot less and fewer benefits Forget retirement and suck in those toxics because it's bad news to try and regulate industry. They need the business. And, you know, this is the sort of vision that we've been proceeding with. The Wall Street crisis. It's not progress. It's planned regress. One, one thing that I love about our nation, America, is that it's built on a pragmatism. If you show greater, greater um, success, often you can gather people together that you wouldn't expect to come together. And that's one piece. And the second piece is America has had its greatest periods of progress when progressives unite across their silos and campaign issues. If you think about the period 1900 to 1920, it was a remarkable period. Four huge constitutional amendments. There was this move to get rid of the power brokers in cities and corruption. We changed, had a constitutional amendment to get rid of the Senate being appointed by party bosses, more or less, and have them directly elected. Big deal. Women got the vote. The income tax was approved, and of course the prohibition. Those things actually came together, because the clean government uh, campaigner man said, there's no way we're going to beat this you know, uh, a lot of these uh, corrupt governments unless we get a lot more clean voters, and that means women. And so you had this merging of these progressive movements. We had 900 constitutional amendments to state constitutions from 1910 to 1920. Incredible, the, the initiative process, the referendum, you can just go on and on and on. And it's because progressive voters finally decided this is my issue as a farmer, income tax, because farmers wanted not to have just property taxes, but they united, and that's when we got real progress. Same thing happened during the Depression and the New Deal. Farmers went, well, I don't really understand all this SEC and banking reform, but I support it, and I'm going to support it. And those pieces were so crucial, and FDR, in one of his greatest speeches, said the New Deal is a whole. You can't just have a little piece here and a little piece there. It fits together, and that was true. Thank <laughs> you.